welcome back. JavaScript has become an important part when it comes to any sort of web development. But don't worry, you are in the right place. We will make sure that you will have a brief knowledge of JavaScript till the end of this course. So let us get started with our next concept. In today's lecture, we are going to learn about arrays and methods. An array is a really cool concept. But before that, let us see the agenda. First, we will start with the introduction to an array, then examples of different types of arrays. After that, we will learn about the property of the array, then methods of the array with examples. After that, there will be an assignment for you. So, what is an array? The array is a collection of the same types of variables. Syntax of an array is array underscore name equal to item 1, item 2, item 3 and so on. Let us see some examples. Let names equal to John, Richard, Monica, Stephen. Console dot log names. Output John, Richard, Monica, Stephen. Well, this is an example of an array containing different variables of string type. We can have an array of number types as well. Let marks equal to 50, 80, 75, 90. Console dot log names output 50, 80, 75, 90. We can create an array also as an object type with the help of the array constructor. Let array equal to new array 20, 25, 30, 35. Isn't that awesome? Instead of one variable, we get to create multiple at a time. Now let us talk about one inbuilt property of arrays, which is length. Let marks equal to 50, 80, 75, 90. Console.log marks.length output 3. Indexing of an array starts from 0. So the length is 3. Now it's time to learn some of the methods of arrays. As you know, basically methods are used to manipulate or modify an array or array items. Array dot is array. Basically, array dot is array lets you know if the parameter is an array or not by returning a Boolean value that is true or false. Let names equal to John, Richard, Monica, Stephen. Console.log array dot is array names. Console.log John. Output true. If we want to replace an item in the array, we can do that as well. Let marks equal to 50, 80, 75, 90. Marks 0 equal to 99. Console.log marks. Output 99, 80, 75, 90. First, we have checked whether names is an array or not. And in the second statement, we passed a string that is a non-array. Therefore, the output is false. If you want to find at what location which element exists, you can do this. Let marks equal to 50, 80, 75, 90. Let element location equal to marks 2. Console.log element location. Output 75. 75 is the element that exists at the index position 2. Index of. Let marks equal to 50, 80, 75, 90. Let value equal to marks 80. Console.log value. Output 1. Basically, index of method gives us the exact index position at which an element lies. The index position of 80 is 1. Push. When we want to add an element at the end of an array, then we use this method. Let marks equal to 50, 80, 75, 90. Marks dot push 99. Console dot log marks. Output 50, 80, 75, 90, 99. Here we pushed 99 at the end of the array. Unshift. But what if we want to add an element at the start of an array? Array has a method for that purpose also. Let marks equal to 50, 80, 75, 90. Marks dot unshift 99. Console dot log marks. Output 
So we have added 99 at the beginning of the array and displayed it on the console. Pop. The pop method lets us remove one element from the end of the array. Let marks equal to 50, 80, 75, 90. Marks dot pop. Console dot log marks. Output 50, 80, 75. Shift. Shift method is exactly the opposite of the pop method. It eliminates an element from the starting of an array. Let marks equal to 50, 80, 75, 90. Marks dot shift. Console dot log marks. Output 80, 75, 90. So the element 50 gets eliminated from the array. Splice. The splice method is also used for removing the elements. It usually takes two arguments. The first argument defines from which index position the elements should be removed. The second argument defines how many items should be removed from the array, starting from the first argument's index position. Let marks equal to 50, 80, 75, 90, 99, 45. Marks dot splice one comma three console dot log marks output fifty ninety nine forty five from the index marks one to marks three all the elements get eliminated and the rest of the elements get displayed on the console reverse yes as the name suggests it reverses the array let marks equal to fifty eighty seventy five ninety Marks dot reverse console dot log marks output 90 75 80 50. Concat this method concatenates two arrays and can take any number of arguments. Let maths equal to 55 75 60 90. Let English equal to 40 80 85 99. Let marks equal to Maths dot concat English console dot log marks output fifty five seventy five sixty ninety forty eighty eighty five ninety nine. As you can see, maths and English is concatenated and stored in the marks variable which is displayed on the console. To string. This method converts the array into a string of comma separated array values. Let names equal to John, Richard, Monica, Stephen. Names dot to string. Console dot log names. Output John, Richard, Monica, Stephen. So these are a few but important methods of arrays. You will have to use these methods now and then when you are working with JavaScript. Well, here is a small assignment for your practice. Remove the last element from the following array as well as display the index position of grapes. Let fruits equal to orange, banana, grapes, mango. So I hope you will be able to solve this question. We will meet very soon in the next lecture with some more interesting concepts like this. Till then, stay safe.